Shalom, Shalom. It's your brother Wal Rumya, back with another lesson. Lord willing to be edifying. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Wahadu Kakutash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who taught me this truth. And Shalom to the 144,000 and the one third men, women, and children. Um, I brought this out a couple days ago, and uh, what a coincidence. A couple days ago, and the bridge in Baltimore, you know what I'm saying, it collapsed. <laughs> so, I mean, we, we got to be circumspect on all the things that are coming up on earth, man. The Lord is going to return, and he's showing us signs that he's going to return, man. Everything is manifesting, man. And everything is being brought to the forefront from from the wickedness of our own people. You're going into your, your Diddy, your Diddies, your T.D. Jakes, and also... The first and foremost, the wicked, man, the Edomites, man. So the Lord is stirring things up, man. Right after the right <laughs> Passover ain't been, it ain't, it, it's still, we still in the feast of unleavened bread, man. And things are, are popping, man. Judgment is popping. So, so let's get to these videos, man, because it was truly a black swan event, man. It happened, and I mean everybody got a kind of uh, 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 opinion or idea of reason why, but. These men just said this was, this was coming, man. And this ain't the this ain't the only one that's gonna happen. And check this out. Things we call them black swan events, right? Black swan events are things that nobody imagined could occur, and yet they did, right? And and, and they and they you know and then they have these incredibly, you know, mostly devastating effects. So we're reaching this point where uh some sudden thing is going to happen. I believe. I believe in that theory of the black swan. Yes, it's going to pop up, and uh, it's it's not going to be controllable. But people, you ask, what can they do? I think the most important thing is understand what's going on. And. <clears throat> That um, Baltimore Bridge collapsing is going to be, uh, I'm not from there, so you know I'm just speculating what I've heard. Um, but they said that's a major um, shipping area. And a lot of things are not adding up to the reason why they didn't have the tugboats and all of this. They didn't give no sound, no no signal, and it, it just collapsed. Like, I mean, you know, they just ran, the boat, the, the boat just ran into the bridge like that, man. But I got a couple of, I got, a, I got another video I want to play. You know, kind of get your idea of what might have transpired. So let's check this out, man. This is this is getting this man's take on what's what's going on. Holy smokes! You're not going to believe this, but you heard what happened, right? You heard what happened in Baltimore in the wee hours of the morning, right? America, I want you to understand something. Because a lot of the times you guys think that someone is fear mongering or they're trying to scare you. Right now, I want you to understand something. This is the calm before the storm. This was a mass casualty event in Baltimore in the wee hours of the morning. This cargo ship that took out a bridge in America with American citizens stranded on this bridge who a lot of them passed away in the wee hours of the morning this is the calm before the storm something like this is no accident understand me this cargo ship is out of a different country what country is that mm. now I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something else. If you think for one second that the United States is not going to counteract this move very swiftly, causing a lot of things to go into motion, like right now, keep your eyes on the. On, just, just watch what happens. Now, this is not to scare you. But understand that there will be more events in your country. 
there will be more events in your country like this bridge. Like this bridge. Be careful. We've been at war. We've been in war. It's a silent war. It's a it's a some it's, it's a uh, game of chess. You knocked out a bridge, right? What does that bridge do? It allows supplies to be moved in and out of that part of the country. What happens now? Hmm. What happens? Logistically, they're screwed. But everything is for fear, huh? Some people just, it's for fear. Or is it for safety? You be the judge. <clears throat> Anybody in that fearful spirit, they ain't right with you. How about Shimmy Al Shop? They're going to be judged anyway. Because what you scared of, man? Our fear is in your How about Shimmy Al Shop, man? So anybody that's fearful, they ain't, they ain't in your How about Shimmy Al Shop, man? Now check this video. This is this is one of the interesting videos that this guy uh, put together, man. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it, man. Lord, Lord willing, I'm going to copyright, not copyright strike, but a strike on it. Let me just put a uh, fair use, fair use. This information will be used for educational purposes only. This information just used for educational purposes only. Keep watching this area here. Yeah, watch the fire and the and the, like the uh, molten metal spewing off as the bridge collapses. Watch. Goes along. Watch. The bridge. See that? Look. Little explosions. Okay. Why is a bridge that's been hit by a ship over there having explosions over here? Keep watching. Let's keep watching it. Look. Bang. Explosion, explosion. Both at the top and the bottom. Explosion, explosion again. More, more, more smoke coming out of it. Look. On fire as it's going down. There we go. Right there on fire. Ready? Look. Here's the smoke in the air here. Keep watching. Look, watch it again. Watch. Watch here. Look, fire, 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 fire. See? <laughs> Steam as it hits the water. Funny. Look, more fire. More fire. Loads of fire. They demolished the bridge, people. Wake the fuck up. Distraction story again. You see it, man. <clears throat> I mean, I can see it, but I'm not a, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a, uh, what you call that, a um, conspiracy theorist. And while that's going on, I'm just checking on the distractions, man. And you got the P. Diddy distraction while this is going on. It says swift banking launch of new central banking digital currency platform in 12 to 24 months, man. This was five hours ago. This the this well late yesterday. I seen it. So Swift, let's get the uh, the what is Swift? And this is this is basically going into the mark of the beast, man. He says uh, London, March 25th. It says global banking messaging networks networks Swift is planning a new platform. In the next one to two years to connect the wave of central digital currency, CBDCs, of central banking digital currencies now in development to the ex extent, extending, uh, extent, existing finance system. So let me get the, the what, what is uh, SWIFT? Let's see, cause I, uh, the, the swift means it has a definition to it. What is swift banking system? There you go. What is swift banking system right here? 
It says the society for wide for worldwide interbank financial community telecommunication system as swift system powers more international money and security transfers swift is a vast messaging network used by financial institutions to quickly accurately and sec and securely send and receive information such as money transfers instruction that's what swift is so they're plant putting in place what we know as the mark of the beast man the motb revelations 13 16 through 18. <clears throat> this is uh the 25th march 25th global bank messaging network swift is planning a new platform in the next one to two years on which we know is coming faster than that it says to connect the wave of central banking central bank digital currency cbdc's now in development to the extent ex extending existing slacker existing finance system it has told rotors it says the move which would be one of the most significant yet for the nascent nascent cbdc's ecosystem giving swift key role in global banking so they're going to be in the middle of dispersing the digital currency man and this is you know when they when they first brought this out they have plenty information on what <clears throat> what swift was doing with the money how it's going to be transferred it says and likely to be fine-tuned went to when the first major ones are launched so they, they basically like you just saying they fine tuning it and i want to the point i wanted to get was it's already being used man so they get they're preparing to roll out this motb that's the point right here i wanted to get man because i mean pretty much you, you see where you can get the information if you want to go back and read it it says countries such as the Bahamas, Nigeria, and Jamaica already have CBDCs up and running. China as well. See, this is already in process. They already did the pilots everywhere else, man. So when they roll out of here, it's already going to be put in place. Everything is going to be set in motion because it's already been tested. <clears throat> it says China as well advanced with real life trials of an of an E1. E1 the European Central Bank as digital euro won underway to while the bank of for international international settlements, the global central bank umbrella group is running multiple cross border trials. See that they, they, they they're running all the trials, man. They always give you a tell tell you where it's gonna be a, a far off or, or it's gonna be many years, but it's, it's right here. It's, they're fine tuning it. It said Swift's main advantage, though, is that it its existing network is already usable usable in over two hundred countries. See, they already got it in place in over two hundred countries. Connects more than eleven thousand five hundred banks and funds who use it, sending trillions of dollars every day. So the system is already in place, man. They're just basically fine tuning it. And the distractions are. They just brought this article out today. Well, yeah, was it yesterday? Shit, I've been working so much, shit, I don't forgot what day it was. Let me just like I'm trying to find out what day it is. I mean, yeah, it's the 26th today. So this article just came out, man. And why, you know what I'm saying? I got all these distractions. Everybody is on this, um, on this uh, Baltimore Bridge collapsing. A lot of people have died as well, man. So this is the time not to be in the middle of everything, in other words, man. You know, we know that, that the elect are, are not going to be harmed, but we don't want to test the Lord, man, tempt the Lord, man. So, you know what I'm saying? This ain't a time to be in the middle of, Going to concerts and traveling and, and, and living your best life, as as the as the world would say, it's a time to walk circumspect, man. Because we we we're definitely in those times 
when the Lord is going to bring judgment on Babylon the Great, man. I'm going to start here. This is Ephesians 5 and 14. It says, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and, ar Slock it. and arise from the dead, and a Mashiach shall give thee light. See, the Lord has given us light, man, to see what's coming and to see what he's doing on the earth, man. He's given us the light to understand what times we're in, man. It's in the time of mirth, man. It's in the time of partying and bullshit, man. It's a time to get right with your how about Shemiah was shot, man. This it says, see then that ye works, walk circumspect, not as fools, but as wise. See that? We're not walking as fools, man. We're not, you're not going and hanging out, man, and doing all the, uh, the things that the world are doing, man. Ready for the weekend to party and bullshit, hang out, not knowing that the Lord is bringing judgment on the earth, man. And that was just a, 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 um, a, um, a bridge collapsing, man. And many people died, man. Just imagine at a concert, just like over in, uh, over in Russia, man. Or some, or some shit like that, man. And right now, you know, summertime, they have a lot of concerts and stuff, man. Concerts, parties. It's, 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 it's America's mirth time when, it's, when it get warm, man. Clubs. I mean, it ain't the time to be in those type of environments, man. It's a time to get continue to get right with the Lord, continue to study and be prepared for the for what's coming on the earth, man. He says, see then that ye work walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, man. So you, you you're not a, you're not a fool if you don't want to go to the party. You gotta be wise in this truth, man. It says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. See, we're walking in those evil days that are coming up on the earth, man. That the Lord is going to protect the elect, but we don't want to put the Lord in a situation where everybody getting judged around you and you going to get and you not get judged, man. Because the Lord can judge you for something that you did in your past, man. So it's a time to man really walk circumspectly and be wise, man, in everything we do, man. He says, verse seventeen, it says, "Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what is it's like what the will of." Yahweh by Shem Shai is, man. So we got to be wise and understand what the will of the Lord is, man. And a lot of things are coming on the earth, man. We're at the beginning of sorrows, man. And the Lord is going to choose your path. You just got to continue to have faith. But the thing is, man, don't, don't make plans to do this and do that, man. You got to be prepared for what the Lord is going to bring on the earth, man. Because I guarantee you those people that was on that bridge wasn't thinking they were going to die last night they were just going about their way whatever they was doing they were going about their way not knowing judgment it was at the door this is proverbs 21 and 16 in verse 21 it says the wise in heart shall be called prudent see that the wise in heart shall be called prudent man and the sweetness of the of the lips increases learning see that we continue to continue to learn what's going on man what, what's going on in the truth man what the lord has Prepare for us, man, and what the Lord is doing on the earth. So, so we, we are prudent, man. We're gonna be called prudent, man, because we we seen the things coming. Everybody else, they, 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 they have no clue what's coming, man. Every weekend, man, party bullshit, man, get high, do this, do that. Let's go here, let's travel here, let's go vacation here, man. It ain't the time to be doing all that, man. It's the time to get right, man. Verse twenty-two, it says, understanding. Is a well spring of life. Did I skip that? Yeah, uh, spring, spring of slack. It says, unto him that have it. Let me go back. He says, 22, it says, understanding is a well spring of life unto him that have it. But the instruction of fools is folly, man. See, these people are, 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 are all they want to do is, is folly, man. Have fun. Do this, do that. Let's go here. Let's go there. Shit, man, this is my town alone, man. Motherfuckers getting their motorcycles out. Death every weekend. Two, three deaths. Motorcycle accidents. Deaths. So the Lord is not playing, man. Judgment is clearly out here. And we ain't even hit, really hit the spring yet. And look at all the deaths that's, that's occurring on the earth, man. It says, the heart of the wise teacheth his mouth and add up learning to his lips. So, you know what I'm saying? You might have to tell your, your, your son, you know, nah, you can't do that, man. I, I wouldn't suggest do this. Your, your, your wife, or, man, you, you know, it ain't time to do that. We can't do this. 
But we got to be wise, man. Not over over righteous, but being wise, man. Not going to a, a gathering of thousands of people, hundreds of people, man. We got to know we around these two thirds, man, and judgment is coming for them. So we want to be at a harm's way, man. Um, verse 24 it says, pleasant words are as in honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. He says, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. See that? That's what two thirds thinking, well, I'm going to get fresh this weekend. I'm going to go to the concert and man, not knowing death is around the corner, man. And we understand that. And we understand what times we in. It's in a time to, to party and bullshit, man. It's a time to get serious in this faith, man, in this truth. Because the Lord is finna crack those clouds, man. You seeing him turn up the dial on judgment, man. This is this is Proverbs. Um Proverbs 15 and verse 9, it says, The way of the wicked is an abomination unto Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. But the love, it's like it, but he he loveth him. That follow after righteousness. See that? We're following after righteousness, man. Correction is grievous unto him that him that forsaketh the way. See that? And he that hateth reproof shall die. So you can't, man, you telling somebody, hey man, it isn't the time to do this and boom, boom, boom. The Lord has them slated to be put to death, man. So they ain't gonna listen, man. And I'm speaking to your family, your friends, your cousins. They're not going to listen, man. It says, hell and destruction are before you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah? See that? The Lord is going to judge these people, man. And I don't want to be around nobody that the Lord <laughs> has a death angel <laughs> surrounding. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be circumspect in everything we do now. We, the Lord is turning up the dial on judgment, man. 11, it says, hell and destruction are before you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah? It says, how much more than the hearts of the children of men? Man, it's time to get right, man. And two thirds are not going to understand until the time comes and the judgment comes. Dropping down to verse 19, it says, the way of, of the slothful man is, a hedge, is as a hedge of, of thorns, but the way of the righteous is made plain. See, the ways of the elect are going to be made plain, man. Being at a harm's way, not not going into uh, a trap of destruction, man. Not not following after the, the folly in, in in the ways of this world, man. Because they're gonna continue to party and bullshit. I don't care if a hundred million people die. These people are gonna go to work, gonna go to go home, gonna party from Friday to Saturday to Sunday, go back to work, man. So they're not they're not thinking that that these events are coming on earth, black swans and the uh, of the mark of the beast. They're not, th they're not contemplating those things, man. They're not, they're not, not, it's not in their minds. They're not thinking that way. Verse 20, it says, A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish man despiseth his mother. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, man. They have no wisdom, man. They, all they're thinking about is party, having fun, folly, man. But a man of understanding walketh uprightly. See that? The elect, they walk uprightly, man, before you howl by Shimei Shai, man. So that's our purpose, man, to get out of here, man, to make it, man. It says, uh, what was it? Uh, verse 22, it says, without counsel, purpose, or dis, uh, dis, dis, like, let me slow down. It says, without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. See? So you have counselors, man, from the positive elders of Great Millstone to the brother, man. You have counselors, man. You might be thinking about something, man, brother, do a video on it. You, you, some come to you, you, you might think, you know what I'm saying, be going through it. Brother might do a video on it. See, we have wise counselors, man. And it's all spiritual because there's something that's bothering you or something that's getting to you, a brother going to do a video on it, man. And if, if, if a brother ain't did a video on it, you ain't following enough brothers then. Because this word is going out daily, man, constantly, man, hourly. Brothers doing videos on it, man, to feed the hopeful elect, man. It says, the way of life is above to the wise, 
That's plain, man. We're thinking about the kingdom of heaven, man. We, we, we know this place is passing away, man. It says the way of life is above to the wise that he may depart from hell beneath. See that? We want to depart from this hell beneath, man. The destruction is coming. We want to depart from that. Yeah, how about Shimei Awashai will destroy the house of the proud? See that? The Lord is going to destroy two-thirds of our people, these prideful Israelites, man, that don't want to turn back to the Lord, continue in their bullshit, their folly. The Lord is going to destroy them, man. He says, but he will establish the borders of the widow. The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. And what their thoughts is, their thoughts are not coming to him. Their, thought, not, their thoughts are not getting the scriptures. They want to just party, man. They want to have fun, man. They just want to, they want to please their flesh. It says 26, it says, the thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, but the words of the pure are pleasant words. See that we're speaking of righteous things, man. The kingdom of heaven, how to get somebody saved, how, 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 how to get you out of harm's way, man. This is what we speak about things above, man. Yahweh Shah coming back, man. Doing lessons, feeding the hopeful elect, man. Going on the highways and byways, man. Bringing out this word to. Please our power into search for the hopeful elect, man. And more than likely, the, the elect is already sealed. You know what I'm saying? Going, just going by what the apostles, uh, Apostle Tahar was saying, more than likely, the, the elect is probably sealed, man. And the, the, the stragglers that's going to come in at the last, uh, the 11th hour, man, is, is, uh, is in the hands of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, man. But if you if you been searching for the truth, Looking for the truth, it's a time to really get serious about it, man. Because the Lord is turning up that dial on judgment, man. Verse, uh, this is Hosea 4 and verse 6, man. It says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. See that? What we're giving you is the knowledge of Yahweh by Shem Shah, The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. He says, because thou has rejected knowledge, and our people have rejected knowledge, man. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. See, the Lord is going to forget get you and your children when his judgment comes, man. And he got four kinds of death. We read that in Jeremiah 15 and 1, man, down to 3. So the Lord got this place slated for judgment, man. Judgment is in the earth, man. And there's no turning back. No one is going gonna, is gonna to calm the Lord down, man. No one is going to calm the Lord down, man. If you ain't seeking the Lord, you need to. Because you don't want to be in the, <laughs> what it says, uh, 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 so, um, it's a fearful thing. The scripture we're paraphrasing that. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. That's a fearful thing, man. This is second. Uh, this is second address fifteen. And just want to get the point in verse ten. It says, "Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, man, and our people are going to be led as a flock to the slaughter, man, by the man, by the boatloads of man. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, man, and that's Babylon the Great, man, spiritually Egypt again. So the Lord is going to bring judgment, man, and we always say He's going to bring judgment, and, and people like get get tired of hearing it." But now you're going to start seeing it now. Now you're going to start seeing it. it, it, it we ain't going to have to say it no more. You're going to know that the Lord did that, man. Just like in the time of Egypt, man. Pharaoh, he kept punishing Pharaoh. And him, him and then he, he finally said, <laughs> uh, let the children of Israel go, man. And that's what he's going to do to you, you Israelites, man. You two-thirds, man. They don't want to repent. He's going to continue to punish you and punish you and punish you. For you to see what you what you um, basically neglected, man. You turned away from him. The last minute you're going to be wanting to turn to the Lord, but it's going to be too late, man. It might be, you know, okay for some people, but it's going to be too late for a lot of people, man. Because I, I can't tell you exactly if I'm saved. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saved in the sense of Christianity, but out of harm's way, a part of the hopeful elect, man. I can't tell you I am, but I'm, 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 I'm truly fighting for it. 
to make sure the Lord have mercy on me, to give him every opportunity to <laughs> say, well, he did, he did my, he did the will of the Lord, man. This is uh second address eight in verse 50. It says for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And that's two thirds of our people. I mean, we, we already, I ain't even speaking on the, the, um, the heathen, man. They don't matter. But the hopeful elect, man, are only ones are going to are walking in uprightly towards the Lord. But all the other, other people, everybody else is, is in, in great pride, man. We've humbled ourselves. The hopeful elect have humbled that, have humbled ourselves, man. Preparing for the Lord's return, man. 50 again, it says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride, man. Walked in great pride, man, not thinking the Lord is going to ever return. But understand thou therefore, it's like a, but understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. So we, we searching for the hopeful elect, man. They weren't going to think like us and believe in our power because two thirds of our people that, that walked in great pride are going to be taken, man. Great miseries are coming on you. Great miseries, man. Like I just said a minute ago, man. <laughs> it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. This second Ezra 5, uh, five in verse one, it says, nevertheless, as come the tokens of the coming tokens, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number. See that? A lot of people are going to be dying, man, hundreds, thousands at a time. Nevertheless, as, as the coming tokens, see that? This is what's coming on the earth, man. Behold, the, day, the days shall come that they which, the, which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number and the way of truth shall be hidden. See that? You're not going to be able to find the truth, man. You're not going to be able to, able to find the truth. And the land shall be barren of faith. See that? The people that you thought that Jesus and the <laughs> was the name of the Lord and you worshiped uh, the, 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 in church. That wasn't the way, man. The men of the Lord you see on the highways and byways and uploading these epistles for you constantly to, to edify you, to bring you into this, to the, to the faith of your how about Shem Yahweh a true living power. You're going to be seeking for those men. It's going to be too late, man. The land is going to be barren of faith, man, because the elected are going to be taken out of, out of uh, Jacob's trouble. So it's going to be barren of faith, man. He says, but iniquity shall be increased. See that? Above that which now thou seest or that thou has heard long ago. See that the only thing is, is only going to get worse from here. It's only going to get worse from here. And the land that thou seest now that to have root shall be seen, but be see that we shall. I'm tripping. Let me slow down, man. He says, and the land that thou seest now to have root, shall thou see wasted suddenly. See that? So this place is going to be destroyed quick at an instant. It's going to be utterly wasted, man. So this ain't the time to play and play around, man. It's the time to get right, man. Get right where you have about Shemi Al Shah, man. Because this place is going to be wasted suddenly, man. All of a sudden, it's going to boom. The thermonuclear missiles are going to be on the land. And you're going to be burnt up in them. And this is the only way we can show our love for our people, man, is to tell them the truth. This is uh, Baruch 4. And that's going to get the point of verse 4. It says, O Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to power are made known unto us. See that? What it pleases the Lord has been made known unto us, and we're giving it to the hopeful elect, man. You black, Hispanic, and Native Americans that believe and have faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. So, Lord willing, was edified. I'm going to end it there. Shalom.